All right, if you chose to stay in town during spring break, it's a great opportunity to spend your extra time being a tourist in your own city. Our next guest works for Holocaust Museum Houston. She's sharing an educational activity that you and your family can certainly check out. I want to welcome Robin Cavanaugh this morning. Robin, always great to see you. Good morning, good morning, and it is spring break out there. Thank you all for the nice weather we've had all week. Oh yes, it's gonna stick around for at least a couple more days. So let's jump right in here. Uh, for folks who aren't too familiar with Holocaust Museum Houston, tell us a little bit about the museum and, and where it is. Okay, well, Holocaust Museum Houston is an education-based institution and memorial. We teach the dangers of hatred, prejudice, and apathy using the lessons of the Holocaust and other genocides that have gone on across the world. But we're really about teaching people how to be upstanders and to be positive and, you know, love one another. Um, we have all kinds of activities going on. Uh, today is a particularly special day because we're free from 2 to 8 p.m. for every Everyone. And we have some activities that relate to, uh, you know, when you come in, anytime you come into the museum, you, your one ticket has access to all four permanent exhibitions. We have a human rights gallery, Holocaust gallery, Young Diarist gallery, the only one in the country, by the way, uh, a Bach gallery, which he was a famous Holocaust survivor and theater. And so there's always a lot going on, even on a regular day. But today we're going to have a Holocaust survivor here at two o'clock, uh, Dr. Steinberger, and she's going to talk about her experience surviving the Holocaust with her family. She was a very young girl when, when uh, this all went down. But she's fascinating. And then we have this magic show by, uh, we call him the great Hydini, And uh, he is a second generation survivor. And it's a, a, a show and it really is about cultivating kindness. Then we have a bilingual story time. And then at six o'clock, we have artist Carolyn Marks Johnson here in the museum. And Carolyn is uh, an amazing local artist. And and retired judge, and she's created these fabulous, fabulous um, uh, collars, uh, women's collars, and they represent 23 different heroines of American history, one of them being Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who you can see is right behind me, and um, she's she's really fascinating, uh, and she's going to be there to talk to and tell the story of how she created these collars and all the history behind these fabulous women from Joyner Truth to Ruth Bader Ginsburg to uh, a former mayor in East Parker. So there's just all types of, of activities going on. And our museum is always free for ages 18 and under and has been since we first opened in 1996. So this being of open and having extended hours on Thursdays now from two to eight is something special. And we hope people will come out and enjoy what's going on here and through the other museums in the district. And listen, the, the staff at Holocaust Museum, everyone is so wonderful. I know a lot of folks, they like to come in they really want that full learning experience. Can you talk mm -hmm. uh, and give us a rundown and go more in depth about the guided tours that you offer there? Well, we do have guided tours of each of the exhibition areas. Uh, we also have um, a headset so that you can basically do a self-guided tour, but you can hear everything ab about it. And we have them in English and Spanish. The entire museum is bilingual in English and Spanish. So all of our exhibitions have that opportunity for people that speak English or Spanish. And uh, you can go to hmh.org slash visit to learn more about the tours and to schedule a tour. And... Um, as I was saying earlier, the uh, our goal is education, and you know we work a lot with kids in particular, uh, teaching them about this important history because it's all led to you know the the Declaration of Human Rights that the United Nations created after the Holocaust. So that's why we have a human rights gallery, and we talk about the exemplars in American history uh, that have done things to hold people to accountable, you know, for proper human rights and every. Everyone from Martin Luther King to Malala is in there, um, and uh, Dolores Huerta. And in fact, Dolores Huerta is one of the amazing collars that was created by Carolyn Marks Johnson in, in the special ex exhibition that we have going on. So we just invite people to come out. You know, it's wonderful to bring your kids to because they can learn so much. I mean, there really is something for everyone, um, you know, in, in learning about this important history. But, you know, we're not the only, uh, only a museum having activities 
activities in, in this 19 museum district. I, and I do want to give a plug for my fellow museums. Uh, there are 10 museums that are always free in our district and nine that are free during certain hours like we are from two to eight tonight. So I, I encourage people to also go visit HOU muse.org and you can get a list of all 19 museums and find out what everyone is doing especially during spring break because the entire museum district works as a team to promote uh, our, our incredible culture there's everything from science to art to history and I'm really proud you know to be one of the members of that organization uh, that brings so much culture to the city of Houston and to the 7 million visitors to our district each year yeah certainly so much to take in Robin Cavan with Holocaust Museum Houston. Always great to see you. We appreciate your time this morning. And be sure to head to clicktohouston.com slash scene at seven for more.